In this video, we will set up a ProTrack unit for 27 inch operation. These are the tools and materials needed for this installation. Looking at the unit from the rear, place the ProTrack on your work surface with the left side facing up. Take one of the channel extensions and align it with the holes on the silver plate of the ProTrack unit. The threaded holes on the channel extension should be on the outside of the unit away from the ProTrack body. Thread two of the socket head screws to connect the channel extension to the side plate. and use the 5 16 Allen wrench to tighten. Take one of the 2 and 3 8 inch spacers and thread it into the front hole on the outside edge of the channel extension. Stack a 1 and a quarter inch spacer on top of the 2 and 3 8 inch spacer that you just installed. Repeat the process with another 2 and 3 8 inch spacer and 1 and a quarter inch spacer in the rear hole of the channel extension. While holding onto the unit, insert the left stub, which is the stub that has the two sets of pins that are closest together into the spindle on the left side of the ProTrack body. Insert it with the lowest set of pins towards the spindle. Ensure that the stub is not spinning freely inside the drive axle. The stub should be engaged. Insert one of the 9.09 inch couplers into the stub and rotate to lock in place. Take one of the track assemblies and insert the stub on the inside of the rear of the track assembly into the coupler. Rotate the track assembly to lock the stub into the coupler, then rotate the assembly to line up the bolts of the spacers that you just installed. If the wrong stub was used, the track assembly will not align with the channel extension. Thread two of the socket head screws to secure the assembly to the channel extensions. Use the 5 16 Allen wrench to tighten the two screws connecting the track assembly to the channel extensions. Carefully rotate the ProTrack unit so that the right side is facing up and repeat the process with the channel extension, screws, as well as hand tightening the four one and a quarter inch spacers. While holding onto the unit, insert the right stub, which is the stub that has the two sets of pins that are furthest apart, into the spindle on the right side of the ProTrack body. Insert it with the lowest set of pins towards the spindle. Ensure that the stub is not spinning freely inside the drive axle. The stub should be engaged. Insert the remaining 9.09 inch coupler into the stub and rotate to lock in place. Take the remaining track assembly and insert the stub on the inside of the rear of the track assembly into the coupler. Rotate the track assembly to lock the stub into the coupler, then rotate the assembly to line up the bolt holes of the spacers that you just installed. Once again, if the wrong stub was used, the track assembly will not align with the channel extension. Thread two of the socket head screws to secure the assembly to the channel extension. Use the 5 16 Allen wrench to tighten the two screws connecting the track assembly to the channel extensions.
Rotate the unit so the top of the unit is facing up and the front of the unit is toward you on your work surface. It is helpful to have the front of the Protrac slightly over the edge of your work surface so the two mounting holes on the base plate are accessible. It is now time to install the brass camera riser plate. The top of the plate has the indention running the length of the plate and the rear of the plate has the two silver spacers on the end of the top of the plate. It is at this point you should install the camera to the riser plate. The camera cannot be mounted after the riser plate is installed. You will need to rotate the plate with the camera installed so that the bottom of the plate is facing up. Take one of the three inch risers and insert the threaded hole towards the rear of the camera riser plate and tighten to hand tight. Take one of the one inch risers and thread into the three inch riser that you just installed. Tighten that to hand tight. Repeat this process with the front threaded hole. Align the riser plate so the top is facing up and place on the Protrac unit's base plate so that the two spacers at the rear of the riser plate are towards the rear of the Protrac. The holes on the bottom of the spacers will line up with the mounting holes on the Protrac base plate. Thread the two 1 half inch 13 by 1 inch button head bolts through the bottom mounting holes and into the spacers. Use the 5 16 Allen wrench to tighten. Your unit is now ready for 27 inch pipe inspections. For more information or instructions on how to adjust the track assemblies, please go to the Subsite YouTube page. You can contact product support for additional troubleshooting assistance after completing these initial tasks.